Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be tearing down the new Viper V2 Pro. We're checking out all the new changes that they made. We'll also be comparing the old optical switch versus the new optical switch. So you definitely want to stay around for this. Also, if you're interested in a weight reduction, check out that video as well because that'll be released very shortly. You'll be able to see how much weight you can get out of a mouse. Nice. You get a nice white insert as well. Nice. Fifty-nine grams. You said what you said. Fifty-nine, fifty-eight. Don't know. It's technically the same. Fifty-nine. Oh, we got a hell of a dongle. USB C. Nice. That looks cleaner. I don't know. I like the white one. Whoops. Your razor stuff, I think it's quite a good green USB is pretty cool. USB C. Grip tape like in the super light, nice. Getting more popular these days, grip tape. Sounds like the same Optimex. What I did notice then was a bit pre travel. feel better. What they rounded these? Doesn't they rounded the skates? Maybe a little mm, rounded them. Take a bit of a close look, I'm not sure they rounded them either. It was interesting they got a honeycomb under the label with like some holes in it, they've tried to punch out some of the honeycomb. So I'm guessing this is where some of the components are, which is good. Good to see the learning. They're evolving. Let's see if the sensor's middle or not. Looks at. Twenty-five, give or take a mil on that one. Pretty much middle. I would say it's just, yeah, pretty much. I wonder why you changed the skate color. I don't why they bother. Does that mean they're a different material? Might be rounded right on this edge here. I'm not even sure they are. Why don't you round the skates? Our damn companies. Apologies, I think it's the skate. screws all about the same standard four screws like the normal viper you see there Got the same clip system by the looks of it on this one. So even with the screws out of it, you could literally run it without screws. Maybe get a little bit of gape on the rear. If you excessively push it on the back corner here, but other than that, I don't know, just don't clip it. Like, why, why screw it? Like, must, like it's pretty solid. I 
Hmm. Got the grey. Oh no, we put a cheap side on it. Oh no. Why is everyone going for these freaking micro switches on the side to line it up? Uh, they've got a nice uh, way of mounting this, like this, this, this mechanism is better. It's better than something like the final mouse has got. And if you're saving that much weight, like, I guess like final mouse did, this, this ribbon, you'd, you'd stick it to the PCB without having the connector if you're that bothered about the weight. Like you'd, you'd change the shitty switches. Sorry cheaper ones I'm definitely changing these straight off the bat these feel mushier than anything these little side ones put some kales in this puppy straight off the bat Standard screws because here we go, we need two screwdrivers to take thing apart now. We've got a lot of plastic on the rear, I can see it already. That's on the holding this battery up for some reason, it's part of the PCB up, you see it? Like a weird post at the back here as well. So we're rocking a 3.5 mini, uh, 3.5 volt, 300 milliamp. That was spot on. I'm becoming a battery nerd without knowing it. Show me your battery, and I'll guess it's milliamp pitch. And you go with uh, six grams. Oh, so close, nearly seven Gs. Really? Really, gonna put, really gonna put a plate in there? What the? Come on! Normally, they have a name on it as well. Project Eva T1 Refresh. It says there in this little bit here. Cav2, Project Ava T1 Refresh. Quite a small PCB. That's a, that is a, that's a nice improvement from Razor on the PCB, look at that. Oh yeah. I can smell, I can smell the malt coming up. Mmm. That's a bit quite small there. Quite a mini scroll wheel. It's still can just beat the super light though. Imagine what Logitech can do. Just BC, nice. Yeah, pretty small. I think that's gonna stop people modding with this base is those switches. <laughs> it's so easy to hot swap these, right? This is how you hot swap switches. So they have two clips underneath. These are the two clips and this is the optical sensor. So you can just push that gently to the right and it pings the switch like so. And then you can just ping it off. Get your older optical razor switch if you wanted. And voila, and now you've got an older optical razor switch in it. And then the optical switch in my thumb is down here, it's in a little hole. So that gets blanked off. That's how it works. And then on the PCB, these little like the light sensors there, you just read it when it gets closed, that's how it's worked. It's also rocking a KL12 encoder.
it's a switch test, yeah. KL red, KL8, new opto mechanical, right? So here's opto mechanical, ready? KL8. KL4. Uh, here's the other one. So this is the this is the ver the older version, right? I'll do that compared to the new one. So older one first, older optimal mechanical. New optimal mechanical. A little bit more click maybe. So it's got a little bit more click. Looks slightly different to what we normally see. Slightly maybe bigger tumbler, what do you call it? See, they've trimmed out the weight in the scroll wheel, like sort of final mouse did. That's good, I like that idea. They feel like they've thinned out the rubber quite a bit as well on that scroll wheel. That's pretty thin, that rubber. Let's dig into the old part straw. Oh, look, a Viper scroll wheel's probably a slightly bigger one. It looks like it's off the basilisk, but I've got the idea of the rubber thickness. See what I mean? I'm not telling lies. See that? Give or take slightly in between them. Five buttons riveted in. So, damn, that's quite a heavy base. 13 grams. I was expecting 11. Hmm, okay. Uh, these may be riveted in. I can't tell. This is what the main shell looks like. Two screws. These two screws. I can't tell if it's riveted here. What are you doing? Kitty cat. Yeah, so they kind of rivet it, so maybe try to make it less wobble, but I mean, if you're going to rivet it, at least stop it from like wobbling. Come in. They made it lightweight, but then not quite made it lightweight. I don't know. 